Hello, Flying Fox and Bummy Productions here. Here is part two of my Costa Museum tour. So now this part we're gonna be going in to cover up some of the engines. So here is the S um 41 diesel cool, cool engine. Okay. I might try to go inside the cab of the PT-47, that big colossal engine. Maybe I might try and go inside the cab of him. So, before I continue, I'll just try to go inside the cab of this engine. So I'll just do a jump up. Okay, so I'm in the cab of PT-47 engine. Oh, you can see there's, there's, a, there's a train coming in. Look at that, I'm inside the cab of a PT-47! Finally, I'm inside the cab of a PT-47, a big, glorious Polish steam locomotive I've ever seen. And look at, look at the cab, I was like, I, was, I feel like if I was a real track, I was a real driver, the gears, the, the throttle, the, the, the regulator, everything. That's an amazing one, amazing cab. Oh wait, I'll try and move a good bit of the tender. There's a little bit of dust, there's not much coal in there. But, well, you know that there is no coal. So, yeah, I'll do a jump when I'll go down and then some. I'll just get into another part. So, see ya. Okay, so now that we are done with the PT47 in the car, that was so cool. We're gonna move on to something special. It's the SP45 diesel. It's the OK1. It's, a, it's OK1 number 112. He does look a bit poor, doesn't he? Oh, you know, he is an old engine. He's just, not as old as Edward. Because this engine was built in, in 1917. But Edward was actually built, you know, the furnace K2s were actually built more earlier than the OK1s. Okay, okay, why am I onto Tom's and Friends and British engines? So, here is that. The TY45 cab. Wait, I'll do. I'll go inside the cab of the TY45. So I'll do a jump cut. Once I'll go inside the cab, I'll show you. So yeah. Okay, so I'm inside the cab of TY45 engine. Very cool. So I can see the glimpse of the TY2 engine. Fantastic. Love the TY45s. That's actually the first time I'm inside the cab of a TY-45. And did you know that the the tender was... Okay, I, I, okay, so I have explained the history of the TY-45 in my TY-45 history video. I mean, just one month ago. Almost two months ago, I should say. So yeah, very fantastic. But, there's, but I think some of the parts of the cab are gone. And also see the air roof. Very cool. Love this feature. I really love steam engines with air roofs. It's so cool. So the jump cut yeah, until I get down. Yeah. Okay. So I'm down. I'm continuing on. So there's like a new wagon there. See that beautiful wagon. Nice. A, a TKH tank engine. The TKH 100 tank. No, the cab's not open. It's a shame. Wait, I go on the other side and see if that TKH just cab is open. Let me just go and see. Wait, wait, if I can open the doors. Can I open? Yeah! I'll go inside the cab of that TKH engine. I'll see you once I auto jump once I get in the cab. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm inside the cab of TKH 100. And it's a fantastic one. Yeah, there's actually got on the roof outside. Oh, here's in the distance the OL49. We'll get into that. Oh, here's the TY45 at the back. The T, the T3, and the TY42126. Very marvelous. Wait, I think I'll go inside the camera of the TY21401 engine. That will be very cool. So, yeah, but it's also like the TY45, the details of the brake lights and the brake structures and the brake lights two times. As I was saying, like some of the gears, like in the 2.45, some of the gears are actually gone. It's like barely any regulator gears at all. It's kind of sad. 
but still pretty looking nice engines. As I was saying, I'm gonna go to the TY42, the TY42, TY2 cab now, so I'll see you there on the cab. Yeah, bye. Okay, so I'm inside the cab of TY21 for a Very fantastic. Love the cab. Actually, that's the details. I mean, it's like, in the past, it was like very dirty, but now it's so clean and polished. But it was in full working order. Cool engine, love it. Pretty gauge. I'll, I'll go back inside the shed of the engine, so yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, so now we're going inside the shed again. Oh, and here's the TKP engine. Very nice looking tank engine. And before I show, there's a model. Also, there's a, a model of an OK1 engine. Beautiful. Look at that model. It's the rod, tender. Here's a model of a TKT48, but the other side, where's, where's the wind deflect on the other side? It still looks very cool. So now we're going to the other side. So now we're going to the other side. Now we're going inside. Now we're here is the OL49 engine again. And I take, look how big he is. Such a colossal engine. I love this. Such a very fantastic engine. I must say, here's a TK, we'll get to the TKT48 later. Right, I'll just take a good look at the OL49. Look how big he is. He's so colossal. I love this. So now let's go to the other side to look at the TKT48. There's the rods. Oh, it's such a shame that you can't walk inside the cab. So now we're going to the other side to look at the. There's an ET21. It's actually the first electric engine to be like preserved after the war. The first electric. So here are those fantastic machines that even like 12 year olds used to like work with those machines. Like they are they kind of like ex experimental engines. You know, I know nothing about those type of machines, but I'll, I'll try to learn more about them later. So now on we go to another big tank engine, the TKT48 engine. Look at that, I mean, like, I think he looks like, uh, like oh, his L49. Look at such a big tank engine. Like, despite it being a tank engine, it's very big. TKT4899, this is like the only TKT48 which is black, perhaps a green car. This is the only one. You can see here's like, here's the like, the Polish version of the history, and here's the English version. I mean, it's the picture of an OL49 run there. Here's an SM03 diesel engine. Just, he's a very adorable little I actually have this one in trains. I actually do have that diesel on trains. I almost bumped into this. <laughs> okay, so here is like a special like railway cart wagon. Like it is powered by diesel. It's not like a, like a motor version of a railway wagon. Like it was a very it's a fantastic looking rail car. And there's the wheels. So now we're gonna move on to another interesting part of this. Oh, here's the TY42105. We're gonna look like in some of those. Because inside this shed, there's like a fantastic like um train. Oh, here's the OL4971 over there. Yeah, so now oh, look, look at how big this thing is. So colossal, isn't he? Fantastic. Oh, and here is the museum. How it looked like in the 19, in 2000, in the 1990s. So it looks very cool. Here's the TY2 PD 47. I love that. Okay, so now we're resuming there. Oh, and I, I, I'll again go to the front of that OL 49. Like, I'll try to go ugh, into that wagon. Oh, look at him, he's so big. I mean, like, he's so big, like, I would, if there was, like, if it was a real passenger train, there was, like, a big front of an OL-49, and I would definitely go on that train. Really, the OL-49s are my favorite Polish engines. Ever. A 
Okay, that's kind of creepy. But in the front, it is very cool, but at the same, it looks kind of creepy, like a devil engine. I mean, like, oh, here's a shadow of the engine. I'll just go down and go back. in repair, so it's going to be restored maybe someday. So now let's look back at this fantastic model. Oh look, here's a, here's a hand car. So I'll, I'll do a jump cut. Okay, so now we, you know, I'm going to look back at that model of the, of the, look at this, so cool. Even that model of the TY2, I'll just like put it, the camera over there. Look at it. It's just a TY2. Wait, I'll make like a shot of it with a movie. That's so cool. Here's TY42105 again. Such a cool engine. I love this. I love this so I think that is it for my for my steam engine and Wolston video. Hope you enjoyed this, and we'll, and the next one is because you know we have a Shlonske is actually replaced, so we're gonna do another. So you'll find out on the next. Oh, bye.